Ah, uh, hey everyone, you've caught me in the middle of what I like to call scientific discovery. Now you see, there's a rumored treasure around here, but no one's been able to find it. But, you know, rumor has it if you're able to beat a certain toad-based treasure game, you can actually find the treasure. Huh. Have you ever been playing Mario 3D World and said, Wow, these Captain Toad stages are amazing. I wish there was an entire game of them. Well, do I have news for you? Because Nintendo made exactly what you wanted. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Originated as a minigame in Super Mario 3D World where you navigated a cube and couldn't jump. And you have to get these stars in a level. Acquire the star, bam, victory. Later, Nintendo announced at E3 2014 that they would make a full game based on these levels, and later, they released it in November 2014. The game was received relatively well, getting a solid 81 on Metacritic. But, enough talking about the build-up to release, let's actually play the game. Getting into the game, we click start and we are presented with our first stage, and... I feel like I've seen this somewhere. Oh yeah, Mario 3D World. This is exactly like the Captain Toad stages in Mario 3D World. So, if you like those stages, yay. But if you didn't like them... I mean, why'd you buy it? It's called Captain Toad for a reason. Basically, we have a bunch of these types of stages, and after playing through four of them, the game decided to tell me to look at the manual. Thanks, game. I really need to learn how to select a stage after playing through four of them. My stupidity really took hold. And yeah, that's basically the game right there. You go through the stages, try and collect the gold star at the end. Wait a minute, is that Luigi? Oh my god, Luigi! LUIGI! There are also some points where you have to tap things on the gamepad, blow into the mic, or aim using the gamepad. Which, in my opinion, is probably one of the best uses of the gamepad on the Wii U. There are also some other things in the game, like Mario 3D World inspired stages, which are pretty cool and are a definite change of pace from the normal stages. And finally, if we have a Toad amiibo, we can play Hide and Seek with an 8-bit Toad. This is pretty cool, but sadly, only the Toad amiibo works, but that's okay, because that's the only amiibo I own. Now, with any self-respecting game, we have a story to go along with the gameplay. So here we are, the story of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, don't expect much. So Captain Toad and Toadette are about to find a star, but when they're about to pick it up, a big old bird comes out of literally nowhere and kidnaps Toadette. Then you track down the bird, bop it on the head, and save Toadette. Later, the duo finds another star, but oh wait, plot twist. Captain Toad gets captured this time by the bird. Then Toadette goes to save him and gets captured. Then Captain Toad saves her by bopping the bird on the head even harder this time, and then the end. I mean, yeah, it's very simple, but, I mean, hey, a simple story can be better than a bad story. Looking at you, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So Captain Toad was a moderate success on the Wii U, but sadly it was destined to fade into obscurity, such as many other Wii U games. Oh yeah. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker on the Nintendo Switch is kinda weird. A positive is that the game isn't forgotten. But, this version has two main drawbacks. First, is the lack of a gamepad. Now, it's fine when playing in handheld mode, but when docked, you have to use the Joy-Con's motion control to use the gamepad's features. Now, I will admit, this is a smart way to solve an issue, but, oh man, it doesn't feel right. I am of the opinion that the motion control of the Joy-Cons aren't the best, and having to use them constantly is just an absolute pain. And then we have my second issue being the removal of Mario 3D World stages and replacing them with Mario Odyssey stages. Now I'm not saying the Mario Odyssey stages are bad. I'm just saying that they're super boring and generic. The Mario 3D World stages were cool because they were stages that you've jumped and ran through before with Mario, but now you have to figure out how to get through them without jumping. Now with the Mario Odyssey stages, they just feel like generic stages with a Mario Odyssey skin on them. Now, even with both these negatives, I will say, if you just want to play some good old Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, it's a fine port.
So that was a good game, and also my treasure hunting skills feel more refined than they've ever been. So you know what? It's time to go find that treasure that has been rumored for so long! One hour later. Now, you know, this might not look like much, but, I mean, hey, it could be better if we open up the box. Are you kidding me? I spent three hours of my life beating this game and I got Glade Air Freshener out of it. My life has never been more complete!